Going above and beyond the call of duty usually applies to police, firefighters, and emergency personnel. But when a fifth grader comes to the aid of an 89-year-old woman who she's never even met, it's especially heartwarming. ABC 10's Danielle Davis spoke to the courageous 10-year-old about her selfless act. I was taking my garbage out, my garbage can, and I had my hand on the garbage can. And I, when I come through, when she come, the garbage can was stand, standing on the side of me. I don't know if I got hit with it or not, but no, I don't remember anything. I don't even remember that I, uh, going down the stairs. As luck would have it, 10-year-old Taylor, who lives down the block, happened to be on her way to music night around the time when she spotted Rose in a puddle of water. I saw her and she was laying down on the ground and her garbage can was on top of her. And I went over there and seeing if she needed help and she said yes and I tried to pick her up but her shoulder was hurting her. So I asked permission to go in her house and she said yes so I called 911. Rose had already been checked on for the day which means no one was scheduled to see her again until the very next day which means she would have been lying helpless overnight for more than 12 hours if Taylor hadn't come along and helped her back inside. But Taylor's kindness didn't end there. She kept her company until the ambulance arrived, turned off her oven, and locked the door after Rose was taken to the hospital. I looked at her eyes first to make sure her eyes are not dilated at all. I broke the bone in my, my shoulder bone. Yeah, I was keeping her company and calm and make sure she didn't move anymore than she had to. Then, as only a composed 10-year-old like Taylor could do, she completed her journey to music night. Once there, she called her dad, and as heroes typically do, she downplayed the incident. Well, she didn't really say much. It was, Dad, guess what? I helped this lady, and the ambulance came and got her. I'll see you later. Okay. And she got home a few hours later, and it was basically the same thing. I really didn't get the details for two or three days later, and I didn't realize how much he had done. And it was, wow. I was surprised, but yet not surprised. No, but uh, in the end, I'm, she said she was scared, and... And I said, it's all right to be scared. You didn't panic, and that's what I teach her. She did well, and I'm very proud of her. Taylor was honored for her heroic efforts at the Old Fashioned Baptist Church with a certificate of recognition, a letter of commendation from the city of Ishpeming, and a brand new bike. Yeah, as much as I hate to admit it, I actually had some tears in the eyes. <laughs> I was very overwhelmed with joy and uh, very proud of her. This week just so happens to be National EMS Week. Members of Rose's Church say it was a perfect time to honor their little hero. But she's been a sweetheart. If it hadn't been for her, I don't know how long I'd have sat there. For ABC 10 and CW5 News Now, I'm Danielle Davis. Hard not to smile after hearing that story. Thanks, Danielle.